Welcome to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, today we're talking about how to take things that we create in Cinema 4D and get them into Unity so that we can create games um, and even walk around inside of them. Um, and eventually we're going to talk about how to put them in virtual reality. Um, but we're starting right now in Cinema 4D R16. And I'm going to start with a nifty tool in here um, called the House Builder tool. So if you have Cinema 4D R16 or later, you can go to Visualize, uh, Presets, to Tools and Helpers, and then go into the House Builder tool, and you'll see this uh, little layout icon of the House Builder object. Simply drop that into your scene, and now you've got um, this hierarchy here um, in your project window, and then you've got all these items over here underneath house builder nitro man um, so right now we have wall and floor illuminated uh, we could add a ceiling if we wanted um, and then remove that or we could go in x-ray mode and eventually we'll be able to go in and solo individual rooms um, we also have the ability to do some room development um, before we do that we're going to adjust the height of the walls a little bit and maybe we'll you know just scale the whole thing up a little bit and we'll adjust our wall thickness and our floor and ceiling thickness now I'm going to select the tool knife and this is how we're going to begin cutting our rooms so if I go into my top view and I just select the house with my select tool knife highlighted, I can now click, oops, click and drag, and I will make cuts and connection, connecting walls uh, to my object here. So if I return back to my perspective view, um, I've now created a little very basic room design. Taking this one step further, we also have the whole door and window um, item here in the hierarchy. Um, selecting that and going in and grabbing a rectangle, um, we can now start to make some doors and windows. So I'm going to scale this rectangle bit down and just kind of bring this to the front of our view here so we can watch this happen in real time. And then we're going to drag the rectangle underneath this and it will now snap to our wall and then create um, doors and windows. So let's start with this front door. All we have to do is hold down uh, Command or Windows key, drag it over, and then we can resize it. And now we've got a front window. We can do the same thing on the other side, and we can just kind of, you know, make our way through the house. Um, and put these doors and windows wherever we want and uh, the nice thing is is even on an angled wall like this that isn't perfectly perpendicular I can still snap it to it and it'll automatically correct and create my door there so here's our really basic layout um, not sure anyone would want to live in my house that's okay um, taking this one step further we can then create all room styles so you can actually start to design um, the house with materials um, I've already got some materials down here that I'm gonna get rid of so we're gonna start from scratch um, and I'll, all I'm gonna do is click create all room style and we've now uh, designated room numbers to these my living room I'm gonna call one uh, I'm going to call room 2 the bedroom, and then room 0 I'm going to call the bathroom. So going back into the content browser under room styles, um, if I highlight my bathroom and then go in and I double click the bathroom room style, I will automatically create a room style for the bathroom that involves a ceramic floor and tiled walls. Um, I'm going to do this for all my rooms. So we said that room two was going to be our bedroom. And there's our bedroom. And room zero, or sorry, room one was our living room. 
and it's kind of an ugly living room, but what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to, since I stretched it out a little bit, my, uh, there we go, my materials looked a little bit, a little bit funky. Um, I still don't have anything on the outside of this house. Um, I'm just going to, you know, create a very basic, uh, just kind of white material. I think I accidentally deleted that and it brings in an automatic wall outside material. But let's just uh, throw that back, on, back in here and now we've got these white walls on the outside of our house. Okay, um, so we won't go too much further. I mean, obviously you can create your own materials like I just did for the outside wall and you can adjust um, you know, to make the tiles, the ceramic tile look a little bit more realistic. Um, and then you can just simply uh, come in here and replace these materials um, that correspond to the wall and the floor. But we can't export this to Unity yet. We're actually a couple steps away. Um, the first thing we need to do is basically make this editable. And by clicking on that, we're actually going to create a whole new um, null object here with a floor and the wall. And we're getting rid of these annotation expression and these Nitro Man tags, which are going to um, interrupt us uh, when we do the export. So I don't even need this anymore. I'm just going to delete this. And then I'm going to select all my materials down here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove, remove unused materials so I know I'm working with just what I need. Um, so we're still, technically you could now export this and you would get the 3D model in, but you start to have a lot of material problems when you get into Unity. So the easiest thing to do when you're exporting a model, um, in most cases, unless you want to get into um, Unity and have the flexibility of um, editing certain components to your model inside of there um, is to now bake this object. So what we're going to want to do is um, actually I'm going to select all select my children here and I'm just going to um, connect these objects and delete. So I've just got one mesh here. And then we're going to go into um, sorry uh, yeah objects and then bake object. Um, I'm just going to use 1024 by 1024 and we'll just go JPEG. Um, I want to bake my normals. Um, I don't need ambient inclusion. And then I'll just do um, a single texture for this and I'm ready to do my bake. So it's going to quickly go through. And now I've got a fully baked model. I don't even need this one anymore. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't recommend just doing away with it if you're serious about the home that you're designing. But in this case, we don't need it. And if I just do a quick render, I can see that it, is, it does indeed look pretty, pretty OK. Um, so now we're ready to go in and do a file export um, FBX. And I'm going to create a new uh, folder for this because I want everything to go in the right place. And we'll do house builder tutorial. I'm gonna create that, save it, and then it's gonna ask for lights, cameras, action, uh, splines, um, and then it's gonna ask for the geometry and the, and the textures, which we definitely want. Um, so I'm gonna click OK. And then we're gonna jump into Unity. Um, so I will do a new project here, and I'm just going to call it House Builder Tutorial. And let's create that. And in we are into our basic scene here with the main camera and directional light. Um, and we're ready to import these assets. So I'm going to go to Assets, Import New Asset. Um, and then we are looking for Tutorials, House Builder Tutorial and the house builder FBX. And I'm going to import this. It says assets, the house mesh, one normal. Do you want to fix this? Uh, yeah, we definitely want to fix that. And now I have got my fully materialed, fully textured house looking quite nice in to Unity. Um, 
The one thing I noticed with the FBX versus doing a Colada is that it does come in very small. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like scale this up by a fat like more, a factor of three, and see how we look here. Cool. So that looks fine to me. And then the next thing we need to do um, is import our pa uh, character package, which anyone who has Unity, you're going to have that option under assets to pull in a wide range of Unity um, assets that come with the free software program. And in here, well, we're going to do an adjustment to, this is where we're going to start setting up moving around our scene. So it's just pulling in all these different items. First person, third person character um, tool that just basically includes a camera and the um, rigid body that will be moving around your scene that you're going to be controlling. So I'm going to get rid of my main camera I have right here because we're not going to need this in a second. And I'm then going to go down to my assets, and I notice I now have a standard asset folder with the folder of characters for first person controllers. And we're going to grab our FPS controller prefab. And we're going to take a look at where we start. Um, I'm going to make an adjustment to it. And if I have my can't, there we go. I'm going to have both that selected so that I can see where I'm positioning myself. So I'm going to start over here by what we're kind of calling the front door. And then let's do a full uh, 180 degree rotation close to it. And everything appears to be pretty good. So yeah, so I'm standing at the front door now. So now technically we should be able to enter our scene and start walking around and so let's see what happens so I'm gonna click play and wait a minute we are falling and falling and falling and uh, that's the end of us but very simple fix for this all we have to do is go to our house builder add a component and we mentioned the mesh um, being uh, or mentioning the rigid mention the rigid body being on the FPS controller well, we have to tell the mesh that it is in fact something that should be collided with so once we've added that we're now ready to stand in awe of our house and I can on my keyboard I can push the forward arrows the right the left and the backward arrows and I am moving around my 3D model. And no matter what, if I run into walls now, anywhere I go, I am checking out my new house. So this has been a quick tutorial about all about using the house builder tool and getting uh, your textured model into Cinema 4, or sorry, in, from Cinema 4D into Unity. Can't talk tonight. Um, I hope this was helpful. I think this is really helpful for anyone who's trying to do uh, learn Unity and create their own games, virtual reality experiences. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe, and thanks for checking us out.